This was my very first painted helmet in 1993. 1993. Yeah, and. Uh, a lot of them have the orange. Uh, it's for Motocross Action Magazine. Happy birthday to you. Blow, blow, blow. Harder, harder. Jedi's ano, birthday celebration to God be the glory. America. There it is. Oh, what is it? The Diamond Cinema. Stop it, pull up. Sa atin, ang movie house, nasa mall eh. Ito, may sariling building. Hey guys, uh, we're here in the Stapletons, and uh, I met I met uh, Dennis at the Philippines. They actually went to our track in Tai Tai and did a clinic, and uh, saw him race before. And friends with Glenn, a lot of Filipino uh, racers, full time racers, know him. So, and hey guys, hey, how are you? this is the father awesome. and son. Yeah, and that was uh, my father Dennis, and I'm Dennis. I've been to the Philippines many times, and been very fortunate to race all over and uh, I know lots of people over there and I'm always thankful to come and hopefully uh, I'll be back over later this year uh, when the rules mellow out uh, to come race with Ted and uh, Glenn and enjoy the islands and have a great time all right so how did you how do you find the Philippines and how do you find like uh, the fans over there different it's it's very different obviously we have a lot more rules over here okay um, it, it's cool to see how much it's progressed over the time, the tracks have come a long ways. Mm -hmm. My favorite event always was uh, Elo Elo. Okay. I, I really liked the Elo Elo one just because the city and the track was like kind of like a Supercross style with the fans right. along the like hill. That right. event was always really cool. Um, obviously, Lanel Del Norte. Yes. Uh, they bring lots of Americans and lots of uh, Australians and people all the time. Jay Lockett mm -hmm. used to bring many people there yes, all the time. Um, and then also, like I've had crazy experiences of driving with Glenn and the boys from <laughs> from from the mainland all the way to the Mayan volcano with uh, Bobo. Be cool. Yeah, be cool. And, yeah. Uh, all that, all that's fun. It's uh, I'm very excited to come back. Uh, they were just asking me to come over a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. um, but we're very busy with Loretta Lynn's right and a few events here. So. Hopefully later in the year I'll be back in the Philippines and uh, enjoying the crowd and seeing a lot mm -hmm. of my friends that I've made for 
Over 10 years. Over 10 years, right. Um, obviously here in the US, uh, my dad and myself, we do the Cobra motorcycle, which is right here. It's the newest Wow. Bike. So, so this is the newest race bike for the kids with startup. 2023. Right? That's a 2022. 2022. 20, 20, okay. 23s will be out in a month after Loretta Lynn's. Uh huh. So most kids start on the the Strider, they go to the Stasic, they mm -hmm. go to the PW, and then they end up on this American-made motorcycle called the Cobra. And mm -hmm. this bike is fast, and it it's the leader in the 50 cc class. Yes. So this is what drives kids to uh, to get to that next level and really strive to get on the 65. Uh, I do know that there's one or two of them in the Philippines. Yes, uh, that the Cobra. So, so they're starting to pop up over in the Philippines, which is awesome. And uh, hopefully, we see see the young youth keep growing there and uh, make the sport what it is that we love. Cool. You have some nice helmets over there. Yeah. Those are unfortunately all these helmets have been crashed in. Right. So they're all display. Um, when but, you say crashed in, I mean like they're they're unsafe can you educate? to ride in anymore. Yes, I've because crashed in them. This was my very first painted helmet in 1993. 1993. Yeah, and uh, a lot of them have the orange. Uh, it's for Motocross Action Magazine. Mm -hmm. uh, I've done a story in the Philippines on the magazine. I've read that. Yep. Um, so that's their symbol for their color for for photo shoots and stuff like that. So a lot of my helmets are orange. Mm -hmm. Um. And then we, I work on bikes and, and do entry-level schools over here. We do a lot of first-time riders. And then uh, we build and do dual sport bikes and build project bikes. And we're, we're quite busy here. <laughs> yeah, I could see that. And then look at that, guys. Uh, Loretta Lynn, Mammoth. And, uh... Yeah, I mean, there, there's all kinds of cool events out here. We have this event called King of the West. It's the uh -huh. biggest youth uh for, for the West Coast, it, it's held at Fox Raceway nowadays. Mm -hmm. um, it's one of our big events. And then for the old dudes, we have this uh, Pasha event, which is really cool. It's held a few times a year. They try to keep and promote two strokes. Okay, I have, I have a question. That now that we're racing the... How do you get to the next level? I mean, we're racing the beginner's class. And then uh, we upstep to the... Well, the novice, right? Yes. Yeah, so and so, we get smoked. I mean, those kids are like fifteen seconds faster than my kid. I was like, it yeah. seems impossible to get to that level. But you also you're coming to a different country, right? A and lot of the kids have rode for a couple of years on the tracks where you are, right? So the the kids are a little bit more confident. It does help that they have multiple friends that they ride with. Most mm -hmm. kids here in the states. Within a year of riding, they have a trainer, okay. whether they use them all the time or once a month, once a week. It depends on everyone's budget. Right. But most people here, it's it's pretty serious. California is the mecca. Mecca. It, it, it's the biggest and best spot uh, for motocross. That's why we're here. That's, you know, <laughs> um, as you turn professional, uh, you can see that it's drifting towards southeast mm -hmm. Texas, Florida, Georgia. North Carolina, uh, the private facilities are really good. Um, and then you have facilities that kids can go to as well, like Club MX, GPF, MTF. All those facilities mm -hmm. are awesome, but the kids are based in one area. Right. Um, but those are for really serious, yeah, serious. Yeah, that, that's, that's real serious, you know, yeah. th those kids are, right. are go. But there is kids that fly, uh, a lot of Latin American kids fly mm -hmm. to those facilities it's a lot closer to go from colombia mm -hmm. chile Argentina, right. brazil so they end up there okay um a lot of uh people from asia end up here in california mm -hmm. and uh no our our facilities are awesome but you do spend quite a bit of time driving in the car hey i I've, you guys are on yeah, an, an appointment but uh thank you for the time and thank you for for this and uh yeah, if they need help, yes. we're always offering help. They can find us on social media, Nobby Shop. All right. Um, I'll look for it and I'll write it down in yeah. the in, in underline in the video. Thank and you, Dennis. Hopefully, we see you at the track here while you're still here. It was a nice movie. Happy birthday.
Binili. <laughs> no, binili ko yan. Happy birthday, Jedi!